Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this channel I talk about fragrance, skincare, fashion and the finer things in life and today we are doing a follow-up to a video that I uploaded two weeks ago. In that video I talked about fragrance brands that I think are not worth the money. But in this video we are doing something different. We are doing something positive so we are talking about 10. 5 plus 5. 10 fragrance brands that I love, that I think we can go and spend our money on the condition that you sample their fragrances and you like them. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, should I use my credit card to buy this fragrance from this particular brand? Well, if you ask me, these 10 fragrance brands are worth our money, are worth the asking price. So I thought about this, so I have 10 brands, I wrote them a piece of paper and we're gonna go through the list one by one and these brands well given that I love these brands I own bottles from these brands just to prove that <laughs> prove that I like them so uh, in the previous videos on this channel in the previous playlist you have seen these fragrances and you know each brand has a video or two in the channel that I you know went into the details in depth reviews and those videos the links to those videos will be in the description box or will be up there in the card section or at the end of the video so you'll know you'll find them so what i'm saying is that each almost all of them that i'm going to be talking about today has a video in the channel and then you know if you are interested in a specific fragrance from the portfolio of a specific brand i think you're lucky that you will be able to find more information regarding that specific bottle. So today it's going to be a lighthearted video. We're going to chat a little before we go into my list because I am 30 fucking six years old now. My birthday was yesterday. And by the way, let's see what's going on here. So this is April 24th here in California. Sunday, it's 9.25. Oh, 9:25 p.m. Yeah, it's in the evening. We're gonna go to <laughs> we're gonna go to bed real soon. But I just filmed my uh, Turkish video, and now I'm filming the English video. And as you know, this is a bilingual channel. Each and every video comes in two different languages. One of them is in Turkish, and I've just filmed that. And the other one is in English. Guess what? You're watching that, and thank you so much for doing that. And if you clicked on this video, wow! And if this is your first time tuning into my channel, thank you so much for doing that. And you might be hearing my cat actually playing outside. I gave him a little toy, so right now that's going to keep him a little busy while we are going to talk about the fragrances. So what are you going to do? If you're feeling a little thirsty, go grab a drink. I have mine here. You know, I have my Ruth Bader Ginsburg mug. With water filled inside, let me take a sip while we are at it. Or go grab a snack if you're feeling a little hungry. But no matter what, come find me here because this video is a good one. We are going to be talking about all those classy, whoa, cool, niche, designer. Some are like really expensive fragrance brands, but you know, what is the common denominator here? I love them. They are worth it, their quality, their uniqueness, their ingredients are really, let's say, high scale. Even if it's a designer brand that, you know, I'm going to start with, it's really nice. It doesn't feel like, you know, cheap designer. They feel expensive and they are giving me life. Well, without further ado, we're going to go and start our conversation. All right. so. Whoa. Yesterday was my birthday. I'm 30 fucking six years old and I feel kind of sentimental. I feel emotional, but I am also feeling that, you know, I'm growing up and I'm glowing up. So if you have just celebrated your birthday or if your birthday is approaching this year, 2022, drop a comment. What are your resolutions? How are you feeling? So I have made some drastic decisions that uh, have brought me here in California and San Francisco and in my new age I'm just going to be continuing 
in my journey of self-realization, I'm in therapy right now, so I'm just going to uh, keep doing that. I'm just going to keep discovering myself, and I'm going to work uh, with my psychology, with how I see the world, because, you know, it, it's... This is the human experience and everything is so interconnected. So talking about therapies, I know that, for example, there is someone out there and that person is in therapy because they have known me. So everything is so interconnected. So let's keep this perspective, whatever we do in our lives, and then let's be more understanding toward each other. And every now and then, let's give ourselves a hug, maybe every day, because we have to love ourselves like physically when we hug ourselves i think our brain knows that you know we love ourselves and when we have this smooth and um reciprocal love relationship with ourselves it is easier to go out there and then live our lives and nourish our relationships with other people around us um, let me know what you think about that. And my cat actually started meowing so badly. So I'm just going to quickly go and open the door and see what he's doing. I don't know what his problem is. He is not hungry. He just needs attention. But I love him, so he's walking. <laughs> he's been in my previous videos. If you've been watching my channel, you've seen him. So actually, I had two cats, Katniss and Dobby. Two Sphinx cats, and now I have Dobby with me, and then he is in the room. So, if you have been following this channel, it's mostly highly unlikely that you know you missed him. So today he's with us as well, but he won't be able to show himself because I'm standing. I'm not sitting at the moment, so he won't be able to jump on my lap. Well, anyway, I digress. Let's go and talk about fragrances. The first brand, of course. Wow, needs our attention, needs our money. Thierry Mugler, it's an amazing designer brand. I know it is acquired by L'Oreal and, you know, with the reformulations, it's really upsetting. But I still think that Thierry Mugler deserves our attention. If you happen to find older formulations of Angel, Alien, and Aura, whoa, don't wait, don't sleep on it. I love them. And you know what? I think it's one of the most talked about brands on this channel. Specifically, I'm going to show you one bottle today. So, you know, in the past, I think, what, like 2015 or 5? I don't know. It's on Fragrantica. Uh, Thierry Mugler came up with fragrances that are containing leather accord, you know, cuir de parfum. So, angel leather, alien leather, and, um, Humanity leather and today what you're seeing on the screen right now is the angel leather and I love this Think about angel and think about the older reformulation of angel with that sugar and patchouli and then combine with it with a Really palpable really really pronounced leather accord and this is it. This is very polarizing Angel itself is a fragrance angel or the parfum is very polarizing and this is even more so but I love it Speaking of if you're into leather fragrances, I have a video on this channel where I talked about leather fragrances I'm just gonna put a little you know thumbnail of that video here and then you can find it uh, in my previous videos and you know what I make things easier for you You know I told you each and every video comes in two different languages one of them is in Turkish and the other one is in English all you need to do is follow the USA flag so that video is an English one and if English is your preferred language I got you covered all right the second brand that we are talking about today is of course Chanel oh my god if you here's the thing here's the deal I don't think there's a Chanel fragrance out there that smells ugly. I know we are over Chanel, most of us. I'm a little bored too, and I told this many times on this channel, but I also have extensive work with Chanel. You know, I have that uh, least exclusive to Chanel video on this channel where I talked about all of them. It's like a reference that you can back to whenever you have questions in your mind regarding Chanel's this exclusive line. Today I'm gonna be showing you my latest acquisition, not acquisition, latest purchase um, from the brand and that is Le Dion de Chanel. So here's the thing. 
here's the scoop on this one. Uh, Gahlan Shalimar. So think about that. But then this is Gahlan Shalimar made in uh, 2000s. You know, that's why I call this Shalimar. I'm going to write the name down here. I cannot wear Gahlan Shalimar or the Parfum on my skin because I'm getting a lot of ashtray vibes. But this, on the other hand, is giving me life. I think this is a very successful release from Chanel. And the latest addition to that uh, list exclusive line, I do recommend this fragrance. If you are into Shalimar, you have to have to sample this one. And if you are into Chanel fragrances, this is a very successful launch as well. And the brand as a whole, I think when it comes to perfumery, we cannot go wrong with that. Chance Eau de Parfum, Coco Mademoiselle, Allure, Coco, number five, Numero Sang, and the whole less exclusive line. So here's the thing, if I had to pick one designer brand, and if I had to use that brand for the rest of my life, this is a very hard question. But I think I have to say it's Chanel, uh, because of the range. When I look at the whole array of fragrances in the list exclusive line, I think I will be able to find something that will speak to a certain period of time in my life. From like the zero <laughs> year old to 100 years old, I am still in love with Thierry Mugler, but Chanel is a very good designer brand. All right, so next up is actually, let me check my list. So we have two more designer brands that I will be including in these uh, 10 fragrances. And let's go and talk about Lancome. You know what? Lancome private line is very good. Lancome, uh, here's the thing. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a big... I'm not a lovey bell bitch. I don't like the fragrance. Does it smell ugly? No, absolutely not. Would I ever own a bottle of lovey bell? No, I will not. But I think the brand needs our attention and I think it's worth the asking price. And especially if you consider the private line Lancome, I think there are really, really hits. You know, there are, wow. So, I have a video, five of them, that I talked about them. And then today I have two of them that I'm going to show you. One of them is, actually, this is growing on me even more so than ever. I like this to begin with, but now I really, really love this. This is Santa Cartemont uh, from Lancome's private line. Whoa, very good sandalwood leather fragrance. Uh, it's like, you know, cardamom and then, you know, sandalwood. But there's also like a suede-like accord in the dry down of this that is giving me life. And the other one I'm going to be talking about today is actually Parfait de Rose. And what I'm going to do that is that I'm originally from Turkey. And, you know, Turkey is famous for its Turkish delight. And some Turkish delights are rose flavored, rose water flavored. And this is actually a boozy Turkish delight kind of gourmand fragrance. This is... Uh, Parfait de Rose from Lancôme. There are two rose fragrances actually in their line. One of them is Rose's Barberanza and the other one is Parfait de Rose. And this is the one I will choose for myself. But many out there will like Rose Barberanza. I understand it. It's a nutty uh, kind of like a rose fragrance that is... It's not too much, but it's more like a baklava rose, rose water baklava kind of thing. But this is more like, you know, boozy. Uh, rose water Turkish light feeling that I'm getting from this is giving me life. It's powdery too. It's like, you know, powdered sugar white. But the whole line, whole brand, Lancome, all in all, I think it's a great one. I think there is something in the portfolio that would speak to someone out there. Go try them out. Go try out the Oud Bouquet, L'Autre Oud. If you can find Tuberos Castan, if you are in... Uh, if you are a fan of Gourmand Tuberous fragrances, I think Tuberous Castan is a really good fragrance too. L'Avant Trianon. And also, what, what else do I have? L'Autre Oud, Oud Bouquet, Santa Cartemont, Parfait de Rose, L'Avant Trianon, Tuberous Castan. And I think, well, what I'm seeing on Fragrantica right now is that they're coming up with a rendition of a fragrance that they had in 1970s. Mille et une Close. So I, I'm going to be testing that out. So it's going to be the new addition to their private line. All right. Without making this video too long, I'm going to talk about Tom Ford. 
Well, when it comes to American perfumery, I think the address is Tom Ford. Tom Ford is designer. Tom Ford is what Gucci is right now, actually. He has worked for Gucci for years, and now he is Tom Ford. He is, he is an entity. And then, you know, when I think about American perfumery, all I think of is Tom Ford and his fragrances, exceptional fragrances. I don't really love them. A lot of them I don't own them but I own two of them what I'm gonna show you is the Santal blush that I say I deem to be the best Tom Ford fragrance of all times and if you happen to find the clear bottle of the Santal blush yes baby this is giving me life sandalwood a little woody spiciness but that you know clean sweaty feeling in the dry down giving me life sexy and the other one is actually from their private line so the ones that are a little more expensive than the rest so the one i have here is tubeco's new uh this this grew on me this has grown on me a lot so i'm still questioning whether this is worth 375 dollars i think right now on sephora but i can't seem to get rid of this this is giving me like cacao wood yes tuberose yes also the suede accord and as it this dries down this plays so well on your skin it becomes so sexy i don't think i'll ever get rid of this one but what i want to do is that i would like to work on the recent releases i know i talked about bitter peach and i'm not a big fan but i think i'm just gonna give them a little uh, more thought maybe and then combine them all together in a video rose prick uh, lavender uh, what is that lavender extreme a uh, fucking fabulous <laughs> uh, last year so I'm actually planning on a video on Tom Ford well stay tuned all right so we talked about four designer brands and then we now are gonna go into more niche world but the two of them that we're going to talk about today is actually, they don't feel niche anymore. The first one is uh, Maison Francis Coeur de Jean. Great, great perfumer. Great brand. Great perfume range. Oud fragrances. Oud. Eau de Parfum Extra. Oud Silk Mood. Eau de Parfum Extra. And Oud Satin Mood. I have a video where I talked about the six Oud fragrances of Francis Coeur de Jean. You can refer to that. The one. The only bottle I have from the brand is actually Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait de Parfum and this is giving me life. This is a compliment getter. If that, if on a particular day, I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing, I can't go wrong with uh, BR540 Extrait de Parfum. It works beautifully both on women and men, but I get a lot of questions from men saying that, you know, I'm going to go with uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, but I can't decide between Eau de Parfum or Extra de Parfum. I think the answer is simple and it's an easy one. I would recommend you, uh, that happens, you know, I just filmed the Turkish video and now and like all of a sudden I started talking about Turkish while I'm filming the English video what the actual fuck okay uh, let's say i go with uh Baccarat Rouge 540 Extra de Parfum and I actually have a video where I compare and contrasted Eau de Parfum and Extra de Parfum please refer to that video if you want more information but the whole brand whole range when I walked into a department store and I, when I look at Maison Francis Courtijan and all the fragrances I say wow okay I don't love them I don't own them but i see the value in the brand and i see people purchasing the bottles of that brand and you know uh feeling confident feeling good about themselves and this is the reason why maison francis Coeur de Jean is one of the brands that we are talking about today and the other one is actually parfum de Marly. and don't come for me my father-in-law is not distributing parfum de Marly. i just happen to love the brand I am a sucker for Delina and Delina exclusive, but right now you're looking at Oriana. I bought this as a souvenir, and I think this was the first purchase of Oriana in their uh, store. 
in Manhattan because, you know, I called the store. I, I This has a story. If you watched my Oriana video, you would know that, you know, this has a story. I was in Soho. I called the store and then they said, you know, yes, we have it. But then, you know, I have to get the green card for my boss to be able to sell you. And then she called me back and then she said, yes, 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 we can sell you. And I just, you know, took the subway and went. I think this was the first physical purchase of Oriana in the state. That's my souvenir from my trip to Manhattan. Do you need this? No, not at all. This is not the best parfum de Mahdi. But, you know, the whole line, Athalia, the others, like, you know, and Delina, and the other more, like, unisex male fragrances, they are all very nice examples of modern perfumery. And if you happen to like one or two of them, I think that's a brand that you can spend your money on. Uh, the performance is really nice with Parfum de Marly as well. And my favorite from Parfum de Marly will always be Delina and Delina exclusive. So, all right, so now we're gonna talk about three more brands and we're gonna take things a up a notch a little it is gonna be expensive but the first let's talk about Amouage if you have been watching my channel you know that I talked about I'm talked out <laughs> when it comes to Amouage I love it I have sold many of my Amouage bottles before moving to California just because it's emotional I needed the money but today I have gold extrait de parfum and Crimson Rocks in front of me right now. So this is, this is a complicated relationship actually. I started out questioning this fragrance but now I'm in love with it. Yes, I agree with the fact that this smells like a, a restaurant kitchen. I get that vibe, I understand. But the, in the middle of the fragrance, honey and rose and cinnamon will place beautifully on my skin. But when it comes to the dry down, that heady, woody, intoxicating notes that accord, woody accord is giving me life. I think this is an homage. This is a very good one. And you know what? The gold, the gold is, is a vintage fragrance at this point. It smells like, you know, uh old carpet but in the best way possible yeah, yes and you know uh, all those like lyric memoir uh, uh interlude there is that soapy churchy vibes that we get from Amorsh. that's the signature i think we get that from gold extra the most so that's why i said to myself you know i like them but i think i can live without them but there's a video on the channel where I talked about my top five Amouage fragrances and I still still behind that. But you know, I when I sold them, I said, you know, I, I need something. I need that, you know, Amouage signature in my life where I feel the church and the soapiness and incense and then all that jazz. So I went with this gold Ixta version and I'm loving it. It's beautiful. You know what? When it comes to Amouage Extrait, don't think that Extrait a version will be like a super more performing than the original. And you know, they came up with the four extra versions of their best sellers. You know what? I'm not going to buy them. To be honest, I don't think they're worth the money. The bottles are stunning. Well, the bottles are stunning, but I think I'm going to stay away. I tried Amouage Atars, the new Atar oil too. No, but still, the brand itself is one of my favorites. And when it comes to 10 fragrance brands that I think worth our money, Amouage is absolutely one of them. All right, if you have been watching my channel, you know that I am a Roja bitch. I don't want to smell beautiful. I don't want to smell sexy. I don't want to smell ugly. I don't want to smell, you know, trendy. What I want is to smell perfumey. I want to smell like a perfume. I think there's only one brand out there that we need to consider very seriously. And to me, that's Roja Parfum. Yes, I do want to smell like a perfume. That's what he does. It is a beautiful brand. I love the Aiguille. I talked about it. And right now, actually, I am trying out Roja's semi-bespoke line and Pierre de Velay. And, you know, I'm all for him. You know, the prices, that's another topic. That's another uh, discussion point. You know, something that is too overpriced and then, you know, they don't need 
closure in their lives and i agree with that my life is not any better just because i have roja bottles or your life out there is not missing something just because you don't have roja sitting on your vanity absolutely not you know if investing in fragrance bottles uh better were bettering our lives my life would be like super and then i would be like a superhuman right now what really makes us improving actually is the therapy and then all the work we put in ourselves but you know when it comes to fragrances we still keep on playing today i'm gonna give you i'm gonna show you one of the bottles that i bought recently i have a new job right now i work at a biotech company here in south san francisco and i make slightly more slightly more money than what i did in pittsburgh but then the cost of living here is atrocious so whatever that's i digress so this is what you're looking at is roja's chipre extraordinaire wow it is a great fragrance and the malik sweet but that is chipre tuberose peachy vibes that's giving me life so what happens is that this is a very complex fragrance so suppose you are smelling Maison Francis Curte Jean Bacar Rouge 540 Extra de Parfum, and this is a molecular fragrance. And there is one molecule, and that molecule is gonna go and then you know pick up one of your uh, olfactory receptors, and you're gonna smell that. That's one thing, that's one channel. But when you have a lot of nat naturals, a lot of high quality natural ingredients in your concoctions like roja it's a mixture that comes from a real flower that is extracted from that and it's a soup and that that actually itself creates the complexity because it's not just like one single molecule it's the combination of things that gives that you know complex aura that we get from roja fragrances and he does that impeccably the blending that we say is oh roja blends beautifully it's because you know i think what he uses also helps with that you know advanced blending and i think this is one of the examples we see that blending and then the whole thing very very beautifully very it's like you know the juice itself is alive inside the bottle uh, is this as good as the Atelier? No, not in my opinion, but I love this and when I saw this at a more approachable price point I pulled the trigger, but then again, no one No fucking one needs Roja Parfum in their lives. I actually was very very frivolous and then I also purchased um roja nua i know this is a musky rose this is the uh, 2015 version of nua this is a musky rose with really creamy really nice high quality sandalwood and vanilla and vanilla but if you want to wrap yourself with a cashmere blanket and if you want to create a let's say fragrance cloud around you that stands like this close to you but this is actually gonna stay with you for like 10 hours this is it this is so luxurious you smell luxurious like a cashmere thing bubble fragrance bubble cloud around you and you're walking with it it's there but it's not there it is so good again you don't need that and by the way each and every fragrance you have seen on my channel you see or you will see on my channel is actually purchased with my own money i don't show you pr bottles i don't do holes so that i can show you my free bottles that i received from fragrance brands because you know what i don't <laughs> really love adore each and every fragrance out there so whatever i say here or whatever i show you is actually here now on my credit card or on my debit account <laughs> so i just wanted to make that point very clear and the other fragrance that i'm going to talk about today is actually a brand when i first came to san francisco i did a video on this brand this is pure distance this pure distance brand is wow out of this world so exclusive so high quality fragrances are so so cool and in that video i told you I am definitely going to buy a bottle of Pure Distance White for myself, which I did. <sighs> oh my god. It, it is Iris Rose Musk, but that like a soapy feeling combined with that uh, 540 feeling. It's just like there and then. It's like that molecular. 
this fragrance blossoms on your skin when you first spray it you're like oh my god did i pay this much money on a soap no you have not trust me this is out of this world this lives a beautiful life on your skin my second purchase from the brand will be uh gold and the third purchase will be Warsaw. and i talked about the brand in detail in that video that was my first video that was when I was in temporary housing in Knob Hill in San Francisco, and right now I'm in the Mission District. So if you are in San Francisco, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> so I, 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 I am in love with this brand. And when it comes to like a 10 brands that are worth our money, of course, pure distance. Hello. All right. So when I look at my list, I think I have covered nine fragrances. And this is on purpose. I was going to add Sisley and... Because I am a sucker for Sisley Soir de Lune, and I think Sisley Eau de Soir is exceptional too. But I did not do that because I want to know. So the tenth brand that this video has is actually your voice. Please let me know down in the comment section the brand that you think is exceptional, is worth the money, or is a brand you think you know everyone should be sampling or experiencing. I want to know. So I came here and I've been running my mouth for 31, 31 minutes and 5 seconds. Yes, I have. <laughs> He's been listening. So, and you've been watching me and thank you so much for doing that. But so this is a democratic platform. So I want to know from you too, what brand should be considered? What brand is a good one, needs our money? Please let me know down in the comment section. And two weeks ago, when I first did the video on fragrance brands that I didn't like or worth the money, you know, it's a little controversial, but remember that this is just my opinion. So any brand you have listened to in this video would be like, oh my God, I don't like this brand. That's all good. So please, please, please ignore what I said. And similarly, if I don't like a brand and if that's the brand of your life, help. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what I say. Please do whatever makes you feel most comfortable, whatever makes you feel more confident about yourself. I think the best fragrance we can wear is self-confidence. And if there is a fragrance, a bottle that is boosting our self-confidence, and I think that's the best fragrance for ourselves. Whoa, that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I appreciate it. You know, this time is actually my therapy too like you know turning on the lights talking to you it, 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 i appreciate it you know each and every time i get a comment under my english videos which are watched significantly less than the turkish ones it makes me so happy because i'm not like talking to the walls i'm not alone here and it makes me so happy thank you so much for sticking out with me and paying attention to my videos and if you want to support this channel and if you have been regularly watching me please consider subscribing and activating the notification bell uh it is important and it makes a difference and if you are fed up with all those other fragrance brands where you are exposed to free PR bottles or like, you know, toxic heteronormativity. Hi, hello. I'm a feminist. I'm a gay. If you're a gay ally, this is your fragrance channel. You know what to do. And thank you so much for spending time with me. Wow. Uh, I will see you at the next one. Take care, everyone.